New tonight, this foster dad is charged with child porn and video voyeurism. He's accused of making videos of girls changing clothes inside his house. Fox 35's Lara Greenberg was there when police announced his arrest. She joins us live in Sanford tonight, and Lara, police say they have a lot of evidence in this case. Yeah, thousands of videos of him just doing horrific things, they say, to children. They say that he was a foster father to 20 kids over the last three years alone. He's now in the Seminole County Jail, and the police chief in Sanford says he hopes he never gets out. With a large number of cameras that were placed in every room, including the bathrooms, anyone who entered that house could have been a victim. Sanford police say the photos and recordings date back 11 years. 11 years of videos they say show Justin Johnson Sr. sexually abusing children, some as young as infants, many of them secret videos showing girls undress. It angers me to think that there is no place in hell that would accept this individual for the stuff that he has done to children. Police say someone found a secret camera in Johnson's home and reported it to Child Protective Services. That led police to put an informant on the case who helped uncover thousands of videos from cell phones, computers, and cameras hidden around the house. Police say his two adult male sons also lived there. They have not been charged. Unbelievable. It's sickening. It's sickening. Neighbor Doris Casula was home the night Johnson's house was raided. And there was 15 uncovered police cars here, SWAT team, um, a CSI van, and a Sanford PD. She thought it was odd. A single man had only female foster children, but never suspected anything. I saw the children. Um, they... I actually drove some to school every now and then, and it had, I think, for one second, there was one inkling that there was an issue, I would have handled it. Police say Johnson had five foster children when he was first reported. They've since been removed from the home and placed back in the system. Now Sanford police are urging victims to come forward. That he purposely did this to, to kids. Uh, it, it is just completely disgusting. And again, Johnson is charged with several counts of child pornography and video voyeurism. And investigators think they've only cracked the surface of this case. What else there might be coming up at 11? For now, we are live in Sanford. Lyra Greenberg, Fox 35 News.